Last time, we completely solved the white side. Today's goal is to solve the second layer of the cube. After today, you will have most of the cube complete. But let me first give you a warning. Some people give up on the cube when they get to this step. Make sure you don't quit. If you take it slow, pay attention, and watch the entire video to the end, then your odds of solving go up by 93.12%. Literally thousands of people have solved the Rubik's Cube using my videos. Plenty of them were seven-year-olds. So if you struggle with this step, go find a seven-year-old to help you. Before you post a comment saying you're giving up, make sure you first watch the video to the very end. Today, we're learning the ABCs. A good prerequisite for this is kindergarten or a few episodes of Sesame Street. Pause the video and memorize this ABC list in order. Away, bottom, columns come down, delicious sandwich, everything goes back up, Fix your whites. Now that you have the ABC steps memorized, let's continue. And just so you know, after you can solve step four, you won't need the ABC steps in your head any longer. It's just a temporary help until your muscle memory kicks in and you can do it without thinking. But first, quick reminder, everyone learns at different speeds. Feel free to slow down or speed up the video using YouTube's video settings. You can hover over the timeline to reveal the chapters and even click here to pull up the chapter menu. Did you memorize those ABC steps from the beginning of the video? If you don't have them memorized, then go back and memorize them. Only proceed if you've memorized those ABC steps. So a question, are you holding the cube in your hand right now? If so, put your cube away. This is not the part of the video where you attempt to follow along using your cube. This is the part where you put away the cube and learn these concepts first. If you try to follow along before you know these concepts, you'll make a mistake and you'll get frustrated. Here are the steps we'll be going through in this video. First, you'll face the yellow side towards you. You'll choose a non-yellow focus piece. You'll make the T. You'll declare the keyword and then you'll do those ABC steps. Last time we left you with the white side, and remember, the white side needs to be all done, plus these sides need to have matching colors. If these colors are not here matching each other on each side, then you need to go back and try again. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna go to the yellow side. The yellow side, as you know, is the opposite of the white side, so we know it's down here. So we're gonna turn that, and we're gonna have the yellow side facing us. So I'm gonna be talking a lot about a focus piece. So I'm gonna define what that is. The focus piece is the piece right above the middle yellow. So here's our middle yellow. So right above it is our focus piece. The color of our focus piece is yellow and blue. But what if I were to rotate the cube like this? Notice we're still on the yellow side facing us. Now what is our focus piece? It is now green and yellow. We can rotate again. Now what color is our focus piece? It's red and blue. An important part about the focus piece is ignoring the yellow. If your focus piece has yellow in it, we're gonna ignore it. So right here, what is our focus piece? It's right here, it's got red and yellow. Yellow's involved, so we're gonna ignore it. So let's rotate the cube like this. Check out another focus piece. Now we've got blue and yellow. Again, it's yellow, so we're gonna ignore it. Anytime you see a yellow, you're gonna treat it like a DC movie. It's trying its best, but just ignore it. So here we go. Now we've got green and yellow. So we're gonna ignore that focus piece. And now we're here to red and blue. This focus piece is good and we can continue from here. Now that we have a good focus piece, we can make the T. No, not that T, this T. So our focus piece is made out of blue and red. We're gonna focus on the top color here, red. I'm gonna hold the face and we're gonna spin these back two layers until we get to the red side. So this we're on green. So here's orange, blue, and now red. Notice it has made a red T. And if sometimes you'll get red on these sides here, don't worry about that. As long as you have this T here, then you're good. Now we're gonna learn about the keyword. The keyword for an ABC move is either going to be left or right. Our focus piece, notice we've already matched it. We've made the, the orange T here, matching it off the top of the focus piece. But the front of the focus piece is blue. 
So we're going to use that to figure out our keyword, whether it's going to be left or right. And again, we're right above the yellow at our focus piece. This is blue. So let's, we're going to just peek over to the side. And what side is over here? That's the blue side. We peeked over here. What side? It's the green side. So since this is blue and the blue side's on our left, then our keyword is left. And essentially what we're doing is we're taking this focus piece and we're either going to put it here or we're going to put it here. But we know this is the blue side and so we're putting it on the left side where it belongs right here. So just remember left as our keyword because this side, uh, the blue side is on our left. I'm going to show you some examples of getting the keyword. Don't skip this part. Even if you think you understand the keyword, watch every example anyway. You need to be strong on this part before we incorporate the ABCs. And remember, for now, put down your cube and just learn these concepts visually. Okay, so once again, we're done with step three. We're ready for step four. First thing we do is face the yellow side toward us. Then we look above it and look at our focus piece. This is a yellow and green. We're gonna ignore that because it has yellow in it. So we're gonna rotate this like so. And then look, now we have blue and orange. So what color will our T be? It's gonna be blue because blue is the top of our focus piece. So let's rotate these back two rows. Here's the orange side. And then here is the blue side. And now we've made that blue T. Again, any extra colors out here don't matter as long as you have that T then we did it. The rest of our focus piece is orange. So which side is the orange on? This is the red side, and this is the orange side, so our keyword is right, because our focus piece color is on the right. All right, so we're going back to step three. We know we're done with step three because we have these Tetris looking shapes on each side. And we're ready for step four. What do we do? We turn the yellow side toward us, just like this. Yellow side's facing us. What is right above the yellow? It's our focus piece. This is green and orange. So what color will our T be? Our T is going to be green because green's the top of our focus piece. So right now we're on the blue side. We're gonna hold the front. I'm just gonna turn this. Now we're on the red side. And now we're on the green side. We've made the green T. And this little extra bit of T, it does not matter. Um, there can be greens here and greens here. It doesn't matter. As long as you made this T, then you did it. Now we're focusing on the front of our focus piece, which is orange. Where's the orange? Is it left or the orange right? Clearly, this is the red side. This is the orange side. So our keyword this time will be left. Okay, so we're back here at step three. We're done with step three. What do we do? For step four, we move the yellow side toward us. And then we look above it. This is our focus piece. This is yellow and blue. Since it has yellow in it, we're going to ignore it. We're going to pivot here. We're still on the yellow side. We're going to look above us. And it looks like we've got orange and green focus piece. So what will our um, T look like? It's going to be orange because the orange is at the top of our focus piece. We're going to hold the front here and we're going to rotate the back two layers. This is the red side. This is the green side. And then we're on the orange side. And here we made the orange T. It does not matter that there's an extra orange here. As long as you have this orange T, you're good. Facing us, the rest of the focus piece is green. So where's the green? Is it left or is it right? Let's check it out. This is the blue side and this is the green side. So since this green is on our right, then our keyword is right. Okay, if you think you can solve all the way to declaring the keyword and you're confident, then let's continue. If not, then use the chapters to go back and review those steps again. Now we're gonna learn about the ABCs. I went ahead and started over to uh, the end of step three just so that it flowed together. We just finished the lost dogs. Now what do we do? We point the yellow side toward us. And then we look at the focus piece. This is yellow and orange. So what do we do? We ignore that one and go to another focus piece. This is red and green. What color will our T be? 
it's going to be red because the top of our focus piece is red. Let's turn this. There's orange, there's blue, and there's red. So we made the red T. Again, this little bit of red does not matter as long as we have that T. The other part of our focus piece is green, the part facing us. Which side is it on? It's on the left side. So we know that our keyword is left. Now let's remember that, left. Now that means we do the ABCs. A means away from. We're going away from the keyword. So our focus piece is gonna go away from left. So we're gonna, it's gonna run this way. It's gonna run away from it. Now it's over here. B means bottom. Notice the yellow side is still facing us. I haven't moved anything around. We're just going to go for the bottom here, left or right. Which one will it be? What's our keyword? Left. So bottom goes left. C means columns. I have a column on the left and a column on the right. One of these are going to come down, but which one? What's our keyword? Left. D means delicious sandwich. We have a piece of bread here, a piece of bread here, and in between is our meat of the sandwich. This meat needs to move either left or right. Which one is it? Remember, our keyword is left, so this time we go left. I'm gonna use my fingers um, in the back here, this finger right here, and I'm just gonna turn it this way. So now this meat has gone left. E means everything goes back up. So that's really just one of these columns. Remember we moved a column down? Um, well, now we do everything goes back up, which reverses that. And if we forgot which side, we just have to remember it's the, the keyword. So our keyword was left. So everything goes back up on the left side. And that's it. Now when we get to F, um, we can now move around the cube and look for the white side. Which side is the white side? It's the side with white in the center. So we, we take the white side, we put that up like so, and then you're gonna see some other whites that aren't on top where they should be. So first take the biggest cluster of whites and move them up to the white side like this. And then this last one, how do we get it from here to here? It's no big deal. Just hide it off to the side. Now that's hidden. And we're going to move these, this left and right up like this. That's it. And then once you have this uh, pattern, you just move that white out of hiding because it'll be right here now. And then you just fix them. And that was the ABC steps. Now what happened? Well, we were able to move that piece which was, I uh, believe, green and red, and now it's in position. It's where it's supposed to be. So, but there's others that are not, so we need to keep going. And I'll do a full example later where I solve the entire um, step four, but for now, I wanna show you an example of ABCs on the right keyword. Okay, so here's an example where the keyword is going to be right. So I've started over. Um, this is gonna be, again, the end of step three. We're ready for step four. Yellow side is facing us. The uh, focus piece above us is at yellow and orange. So we're gonna ignore that. And let's just find a new focus piece. Let's go here. This is blue and orange. So what color will our T be? It's gonna be blue, because blue is on top. So let's find the blue side. There it is. We made the blue T. The other part of our focus piece is orange. So which side, is it left or right? This is the red side. And this side is the orange side. So our focus piece color is on the right. Therefore, our keyword is right. So ABCs, away. Our focus piece goes away from right. So here it is, it's gonna run away. B. The bottom here, it can go left or right, but we're gonna go right. C, columns come down. One of these columns, either this column or this column, will be coming down, but which one? Our keyword is right, 
So it's the right side like that. D, delicious sandwich. Again, we have a piece of bread down here, a piece of bread up here. This is the meat. The meat will move left or right. Our keyword is right. I'm gonna use my back finger here. And now the meat has moved right. E, everything goes back up. So it's gonna go back up either on this column or this column. Our keyword is right. So it's the right column that goes up. And that's it. Now we're at F where we go look for the white side. Find and fix your whites. Let's go find it. Okay, there it is. Let's put all the whites here where we can see them. The white side's on top. And then we take this big cluster and take it up to the white side. And then how do we get this guy in this spot here? Simply move him off to the side like that. Once he's in that position, let's move these two big clusters on the left and right and move them forward once like that and like that. Now that we've done that, the white you can see here is now in this position and we're just going to move him over here and then we just fix these whites and then we put the yellow side back toward us and now what do we have here? Look, there's our blue and orange right there in the correct position. Keep re-watching those two examples I just showed you for the ABCs until you're confident. If you think you have it figured out, go ahead and bring your cube out and let's do it together. Coming up, I've got full examples of solving all the way from the beginning of step four to the end of step four. Sometimes it's hard to remember all the steps of the Rubik's Cube. No worries, I built a cheat sheet so you'll never forget. Not only does it come with diagrams and notes to help you in your solve, but I even threw in a guide that's wallet size. Link is in the description. Wait, what's that? You want the cheat sheet for free? If you become a patron, you'll get the cheat sheet for free, plus you can watch my videos with no advertisements. I'll even include your name in any new videos that I make. To become a patron, click the link in the description. Here is a full example of step four. Get your cube out and try to follow along. If you're not ready for that, you need to go back to those other chapters and watch those first and, and then come back to this part. Because if you do this too early, you will get frustrated. Um, so make sure you're ready before you start the step. Here we are, we just finished the lost dogs. We finished step three. Now we face the yellow side toward us. And the first thing we see is our focus piece of yellow and blue. That's got yellow in it, so let's ignore it. This one also has yellow, we'll ignore that. Here is blue and red. So let's take this to the blue side to make the blue T. Okay, we made the blue T. The other part of our focus piece is red, but what side is it on, left or right? There it is, it's on the left. So we know that our keyword is left. If we looked over here, you can see this is the orange side, so that's not correct. But the red side is on the left, so our keyword is left. So what do we do? Our focus piece needs to go A away from the left. So away. B, bottom goes left. C, column comes down on the left side. D, delicious sandwich. The meat goes left. E, everything goes back up on the left side. Okay, so now we find and fix our whites. Let's find the white side. Where is it? There it is. So we found the white side. It's up top and we're facing the other whites toward us. And what do we do? We take the biggest cluster and take it to the white side. How do we get this guy up here? We just hide him off to the side like that. And then these guys go forward, left and right. It's like this. Move this guy up here, move this guy up here. And then, now this piece is here, and we just move it over. Okay, and then we put these back to the white side. Now we come back to the yellow. Yellow side facing us, we look at our focus piece. That's got yellow in it, ignore it. That's got yellow, ignore that. That's got yellow, ignore that. And here we go, green and red. Let's take this to the green side to make the green tea. Okay, there's the green tea. Our focus piece front of it is red. 
So is it going to be on the right or the left? It's on the right. So our keyword is right. Our focus piece goes away from the right side. So it's going to run away from the right side. Bottom goes right. C, columns come down on the right side. D, the sandwich meat, the delicious sandwich meat goes to the right. E, everything goes back up on the right side. Okay, now we find and fix our whites. Again, white sides up top. We take this white chunk, move it to the top. This guy gets moved over. And just like before, we're gonna move these both up and then bring the white out of hiding. Then these guys return to the white side. Okay, now we go back to the yellow side. The yellow side's facing us. Our focus piece is yellow, ignore it. Focus piece is yellow, ignore it. Here we've got an orange and blue. It's kind of nice, this orange T already exists, so we don't need to do that part. Now we can focus on this. Is blue on the left or the right? It's on the left, it's the blue side. The other side was green, so that's not right. Okay, so since blue is on the left, our keyword is left. Our focus piece goes away from the left side. Bottom goes left. Column comes down on the left side. Delicious sandwich meat goes to the left. And then everything goes back up on the left side. Okay, let's find and fix our whites. Put the white side up top, and now let's find the other whites. There they are. Let's take this big chunk up to the white side. How do we get this guy to go back up? We just hide them off to the side, like before. And then these guys go up. They both go up like this. And then this guy comes out of hiding. And then we bring these back to the white side. Okay, we immediately go back to the yellow side again. Yellow side's facing us. Focus piece is yellow. Focus piece is yellow. Focus piece is yellow. And here we go, we got orange and green. We got lucky again, and they, the orange T is already created for us, so we don't need to worry about that. And now we can focus on the keyword. This is green, so is it on the left or the right? It's not on the left, that's the blue side. The right side has green in the middle. So our keyword is right. Our focus piece goes away from the right side. Bottom goes right. Column comes down on the right side. Delicious sandwich meat goes right. And then everything goes back up on the right side. Okay, now we find and fix our whites. We find that white side, put it up top and make sure the whites are facing us like this. This big cluster goes up to the white side, and we're just left with this guy who hides off to the side like I showed you before. And then these two simply go up like so, and this one comes out of hiding. And then these return to the white side. Okay, now we return to the yellow side. Yellow's facing us. Our focus piece has yellow, ignore it. Yellow, ignore it. This also has yellow, and this one also has yellow. So it means we either need to swap something around using the, um, the all yellow that I'm gonna show you later, or it means we're done. Let's check it out. Okay, it means we're done. And again, if all your focus pieces are yellow, but the sides are not done yet, you're not done with step four, then go ahead and jump to the chapter that says all yellow, and I'll explain how that's to be done. If you can go from a scrambled cube all the way to solving the ABC step, and you can do it in under four minutes, then do the following. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then go to the description and click on step five. So I'm gonna point the yellow side toward me, like just like this, I'm gonna look above it. Here's my focus piece, it's green and yellow. It's got yellow in it, so I'm gonna ignore that. Let's go here, this is green and red. So our focus piece is the top of its green. So we're gonna make the green T. Now we're done with that. We look at the front of the focus piece, which is red. And we try to figure out, is it on left or right? 
This is the orange side, and this is the red side. So our keyword is right, because the focus piece color is on our right. Because it's right, when we do the ABCs, we use it for all of those ABCs. So A is away from the right side, so it's going to go this way. B, bottom goes right. C, column comes down on the right side. D, delicious sandwich, the meat goes right. E, everything goes back up on the right side. F, find and fix your whites. So let's find the white side. There it is. So we have the white side, and we can see our extra whites here. What do we do? We bring this big cluster up to the white side. How do we get this last piece up here? We just hide it off to the side like this. I'll tilt it so you can see where he is. And then we just move this left and right forward one. Move this one up, move this one up. And because we did that, this one's now down here. And we just move them over. And now we just fix those whites, bring those back down to the white side. And we accomplished that ABC move. So now the piece is where it goes. But you don't really have to pay attention to where it's going. Just pay attention to the yellow side. Just bring it back to the yellow side and just look. And um, if you just focus on that, you don't have to really worry about if it went in position. So I'm going to ignore if it went in position or not. I'm just going to come back and say, OK, I'm on the yellow side still. Here's my new focus piece, yellow, red. It's got yellow in it. I'm going to ignore it. Here we go, orange and blue. Look at this. We already have a T, which is kind of nice. Now we just need to determine the keyword. Blue is on the left, so our keyword is left. The focus piece goes away from the left. Bottom goes left. Columns come down on the left side. Delicious sandwich, the meat goes left. Everything goes back up on the left side. F, find and fix your whites. Let's go to the white side. There it is. Let's pivot around until we see all the whites. There's all the whites. So we want to bring this big cluster to the white side. Now how do we get this guy up there? We move him off to the side and then we move these two guys up one like this. And then we bring this guy out of hiding. And then we just fix those whites so that these are on the white side. And then we bring it back to the yellow side again. Yellow side's facing us. What's our focus piece? It's got yellow in it. This focus piece also has yellow in it. Ignore it. This focus piece also has yellow in it. Let's ignore that. I've got one that works, red and blue. And by the way, if they all have yellow in it and you're, you're not done with the step, don't worry, I have a section called All Yellow. Just You can jump to that and, um, and watch that, and it'll, it'll solve that for you. So right now we've got red and blue. That means our T will be red. There it is. Made the red T. The focus piece is blue. Is it on the left or the right? That's the green side. So blue is on our right. Our keyword is right. So A... Focus piece is going to go away from the right. Bottom goes to the right. Columns come down on the right side. The uh, delicious sandwich, the meat, goes to the right. Everything goes back up on the right side. That's it. Let's find and fix our whites by putting the white side up top. It's up top, and now we can see the rest of these. We just move this big cluster to the white side. Again, we hide this guy off to the side, and then we bring these two up like this. Bring this guy out of hiding, and then bring these back. All right, again, yellow side. That's got yellow, that's got yellow, here we go, orange and green. <laughs> we got the T again, the nice. 
So we didn't have to make the T because it's already there. Now um, we have the orange. Is it left or right? It's on our left. Keyword is left. So A, focus piece goes away from the left side. B, bottom goes left. C, the column comes down on the left side. D, delicious sandwich, the meat goes left. E, everything goes back up on the left side. Okay, that's it. Let's uh, find and fix our whites, put the white side up top. There's our other whites. We bring this cluster up to the white side. And again, this guy, to get him up here, we just move him off to the side. Then these guys go up like this. And then we bring the guy out of hiding, like so. And then we fix these whites to be all on the white side. Okay, again, we're, the yellow side's facing us. This has yellow, ignore it. This has yellow, ignore it. This has yellow, ignore it. And the fourth one also has yellow. So we have a situation where they're all yellow. That could mean there's a problem that we have to fix, or it also could mean we're done. Let's check it out. It means we're done. So we finished step four. What do you do if all your focus pieces are yellow? So in this case, I've got a focus piece here that has yellow in it. This has yellow. This one also has yellow. And this one. So the first thing you do is check to see if you've solved that step. If you look here, I've actually solved the step and that is why all the focus pieces are yellow. Where here I've got my focus piece, it has yellow in it, it's right there on the top. I say, okay, let me try another one. Oh, there's yellow right here on the side of it. It's part of my focus piece, so I can't use it. Rotate, wait a minute, this, this is the top of my focus piece is yellow. Can't use that, wait. This one's yellow too. So what do you do when they're all yellow? All you have to do is move it out of your way. You may not realize this, but the entire time, whenever you choose a focus piece and you say left and right, you're actually swapping pieces out. So if I said right here, then this piece would swap with this piece on the right. If I said left, then this focus piece would swap with this piece on the left. So that's what we're doing. And usually you want, you're trying to line up the colors so that we solve the cube. But what if you weren't trying to match up the colors? What if you just did it randomly? Would it work? Yeah, it would. So I can actually move this here. I can move it here. I can even turn the cube and try another spot. I can say, you know what? I want this yellow piece moved to here by saying right. Or I want the yellow piece to move to the left by saying my keyword is left. And it would move over there. But it does matter where you move it because if we chose right in this situation, then it's going to switch places with this piece here, except this piece belongs here. So that would not be helping us solve the cube. So we say, okay, that's not going to be a good idea, but this piece doesn't really go here. So it's safe to move the yellow in that spot for temporarily. And that'll, this piece here will come over here and it won't have yellow in it. And then you can continue to solve. So let's actually just try this. All right, and again, it doesn't matter. I can pick any side. Um, obviously, I don't want this one. I'll just keep looking here. Just I'm just gonna show you that you have options. So for instance, on this one, I can do either one. This one doesn't really belong here. This one doesn't belong here. So I can move the yellow here or here, it doesn't matter. So let's make a decision. Let's just say we're gonna switch it with one on the right. So we're gonna say the keyword is right. So let's do our moves. We're going to go away. The face is going to go away from the right. Bottom is going to go our keyword, which is right. Column comes down on the right side. Delicious sandwich meat goes to the right. Everything goes back up on the right side. And then we find and fix our whites. Where are they? There we go. We're going to take this line of whites and we're going to move it to the white side. You know this is the white side because the white's in the middle. So we're just going to bring everything over to the white side. And then we're going to bring this to the top here. And how do we get this piece over here? Just like I've showed you before, you hide it. And then we move this left and right up like this and then bring the white out of hiding. And then we fix the whites like this. So now there that's yellow still. That one's got a yellow. 
But look, this one's been swapped out and now we can continue to solve. So from here, we would say, okay, now we do our moves. Uh, that's orange. We get, we're going to make the T. There's the T right there. Now we're gonna, going to decide left or right. We have green here, so see that's blue. So obviously it'd be on this side, there's our green. So we're going to move it, this one to here. So we're gonna say right is away from the right side. Which way does the bottom go? To the right. Column comes down on the right side. Delicious sandwich meat goes to the right. Everything goes back up on the right side. And then we find and fix our whites. I'm gonna take this row of whites to the white side like that. And then again, just like before, we're gonna hide him, move these up, and then bring him out of hiding, and then fix that. Okay, this side solved. So we still have a couple more to go, let's just do it. Okay, we got yellow there, yellow, yellow, and this one's fine, this is green. I'm gonna go to the green side. There's the green T. We're looking for the red. It's not on the left and it has to be going to the right. So our keyword is right. We're gonna go away from the right side. The bottom goes right. The column comes down on the right side. The delicious sandwich meat goes to the right and everything goes back up on the right side. We find and fix our whites. I'm gonna move these over to the white side. And then just like before, we're going to fix our whites. All right, let's check our focus piece here. That's got yellow, that's got yellow. This is blue, so this is good. We're gonna take it to the blue side. This is our blue T. Now we declare left or right. This is red, so we're looking for red. There it is on the left. So the face of this goes away from the left side. The bottom goes to the left. Column comes down on the left side. Delicious sandwich meat goes left. Everything goes back up on the left side. Now we're going to uh, fix our whites. So. And now we have solved step four. Thanks to all my patrons. And here are those on the awesome person level. And special thanks to the premium people, Daniel Robbins, Ellen Ruggiano, the O'Hearn family, Anna Bankrier, Marquise Thompson, Gregory Chandler, and Janand Yuki. My family really appreciates your support. Thank you so much.